source um, is not oneness, right? Oneness is like the next layer where everything and nothing exists. And there's no separation of energies. It's just everything. Behind that is also there's the, uh, just the energy of possibility, potential. So you have the potential and possibility, then you have oneness where everything exists. And then you have source, and there's more than one source. Yeah? So there's different sources. So for example, a, an energy or a, a, a reality where light and dark do not exist, right? What's their source? Yeah, it's not light. So, but often when we talk about source, because we are essentially light, we think about source for everybody to be light. So when we think about a dark being who feeds his, him or herself from others, they do that. They also have a very hierarchical uh, energy or uh, structure of existence so that they push everybody down to be on top. And other things, it's, if you look at it like a, a, a vibrational level only, that source would be like a, if you have an instrument like a guitar, the source of the sound of the, the, the very bottom um, string would be very high. Yeah? So the string would be that source, and it's very different to the string that's on the very top of the, the guitar, which is very low vibration. Different sources of sound. Both have strings, yeah? so we are all made of energy, uh, or that's what we can call it, because actually nowadays physicists will say, well, if you have an atom and then you break it down to electrons and neutrons and all that stuff, then that's matter, that's, that's particles. But then they look closer and they found that it's not particles at all. Then they thought, oh, well, okay, so they're sparks of energy. And they look closer and say, oh, actually they're not sparks of energy. They're kind of a little wave, you know, like a little something. So now they don't know what it is. They have lots of theories, but they don't actually know what it is. That could be the source of everything, one might say. But that's not light, and that's not dark, because mm. it's not even big enough to even undulate, right? So when we talk about, and that could be, you could, one could say that might be uh, the, the potentiality universe, well, I don't know, or it could be oneness, I don't know. It's probably the oneness one because it already has some sort of matter. Um, and the space between the matter <laughs> to make it something. Uh, but for a dark being, they don't even have light inside their structure. So that's not source for them. The, um, the more pure, the more beautiful they are is when they're the darkest. That's their source. Yeah. So the darker... And we're talking about colors, but it's nothing to do with colors um, or low or high. It's just difference, you know, they're different. And when they reach their source, it's, it's pure. There's no absolutely no light in there at all. Just like when we reach source, it's just light. There's nothing else, you know. Mm. So, um, and we have the consciousness. We have consciousness which in which we can actually experience I don't know if this is true for every single species on the universe but I know that we can as humans we can experience that expansion and even if we can't see it we can acknowledge that that might be a possibility that there is a reality that's so utterly different to ours that we can't even see it and just by having that possibility we have a freedom to be able to move back and forth or in between, you know, different realities and different experiences of source. So it's fascinating. It's, it's really quite fascinating. Is theirs worse than ours or better than ours? I don't know, you know, and I think part of the experiment that we wanted to have here on this planet was so that we could experience it in a safe environment. I know it doesn't feel safe, but it kind of is. <laughs> and um, allow ourselves, if we wanted to, to be trapped, but you can't really trap a soul, you know, it's like people talk about um, structures that trap souls and stuff, but you always need that agreement. And as soon as, yeah, you can say, oh, yeah, I want to be trapped forever, but what's forever? It wasn't yesterday, so it can't be forever because it didn't exist yesterday. 
and that already gives you a, a door out. So I hope that explains a little bit more the way I see the mm -hmm. source moving forward or away from source. Mm -hmm.